What's up, Columbus? I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden here with 614 TV, exploring the best food and drinks our city has to offer. Coming up on Tasting Columbus, we're diving into delicious seafood at Kai's Crab Boil, plowing our way through Bud Dairy Food Hall, and dropping in on Ivan Kane's 40 Deuce to experience New York right here in Columbus. So bring your appetite and your adventurous spirit and join me for 614 TV's Tasting Columbus. Columbus, there's a new food hall in town. The Bud Dairy Food Hall has local foodie favorites, creative cocktails, and great views all in one historic location. To say I'm excited would be an utter statement. Let's milk this for all it's worth, Columbus. Come on. I'm here with General Manager Jeremy Hughes. Jeremy, thanks so much for bringing us to the Dairy Hall today. It's a pleasure to have you here. This is such a cool building. Tell me a little bit about how you arrived here and the, and the vibe of this place. Yeah, so uh, the Bud Dairy Food Hall building has a long history. It was built in 1916 and operated as a dairy all the way up until 1967. Uh, back in its heyday, it was one of the most forward-thinking dairies of its time, the first refrigerated sanitary carts. And it was also the place that tied the neighborhood together. And they used to actually get together on Saturday nights, pick up the AM radio station out of Pittsburgh, Hell and yeah. then have dances and get together. <laughs> so a very cool place to be a part of, for sure. I come to uh, Bud Dairy because uh, of all the great food. I figure everything that's here is past the buster of Cameron Mitchell, so it's it's got to be good. I get Taco Rudos, anything there is delicious. The atmosphere at Bud Dairy is actually really cool, uh, being a renovated space and just, it's. It's really neat what's been done here. Um, and the a rooftop bar is amazing. And so now you're building new history here with the Bud Dairy Hall. Tell me a, a little bit about the concept and how you choose the vendors and chef partners that you have here. Absolutely. So, you know, obviously we want to create an amazing community of chef partners. You know, our idea behind it has become this amazing culinary incubator. And initially we went through over 120 applicants to whittle it down to the final 10 that we have here today. So the exciting process, you know, we're looking for people who have number one of amazing food and also who are just great people who we want to do business with, you know? You might call it the cream of the crop. The cream. <laughs> well, I love it and I'm going to use that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the, the chef partners who are here today, you know, right behind us, we may have the next Cameron Mitchell, the next Dave Thomas, who knows? And we're excited to be a part of their career as they move forward. That's great. Well, I'm looking forward to trying a lot of the food today. And first up for me is Cousins Maine Lobster. I'm here with Kathy Nuss, the owner of the Cousins Maine Lobster franchise that has been trucking all over Columbus and is now settled right here in the Bud Dairy Food Hall. Kathy, what are we trying today? Oh my gosh, today you're gonna get to try our signature Maine lobster roll. Oh man, I cannot wait. How do you put it together? So everything comes from Maine. These are toasted New England split top rolls. When we make the roll, we butter this New England split top bun and we toast it on the grill. We okay. get it to a fine, crispy state. We then apply the lobster and the mayo on the bun, and then we serve it with a lemon on the side for those people that like to use lemon on their lobster roll. Who doesn't like lemon on a lobster exactly. roll? Exactly, and it's the perfect fit for a hot summer day. Perfect. Well, I cannot wait to get my claws on that. Well, Kathy, this looks like the perfect meal. I have your main lobster roll, and we're pairing it today with the Seventh Son Village Pilsner, which can only be found at Bud Dairy Hall. All right, diving in. I can already feel the bun is nice and toasted. That's bomb. That's good. Awesome. I love the sweetness of the roll. It's really bright with that lemon. And such a generous portion of lobster, I can tell that it's claw meat. That's authentic Maine lobster right there. This is the perfect sandwich for a nice hot summer day. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. So now I'm going to pair it with the perfect Pilsner. Pilsner. Mm. So light, easy drinking. I want to be sitting like on a porch swing drinking this, maybe upstairs on the roof. I can't wait to enjoy the rest of the sandwich. Thanks so much. You're welcome. All right, well, this was fantastic, but I'm going over to Tacos Rudos now to check that out.
I'm now here with Ana Cruz, the owner of Tacos Rudos here at the Bud Dairy Food Hall. Ana, thanks so much for having us over here. Yeah, thank you for being here. And today we're having fish tacos. Walk me through how you make those. So we actually uh, cut our fish here uh, and then we grab the piece, put it into our flour. What type of fish is it? Uh, we use huachinango, which, which is a uh, red snapper. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we uh, dip it into our beer butter, fry it put it into our flour or corn tortilla, which we make it in-house, my mom makes it. Your mom makes the tortillas? Yes. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, then we take it into our coal station, and then we add pico, cabbage, uh, a little bit of lime, and our serrano pepper cream on the top. And do you make that all fresh in-house? Yes, we do. We cut our own meats, we make our salsas here, everything's fresh. <laughs> oh, well, I cannot wait to try this. It sounds heavenly. Thank you. <laughs> Anna, this is a beautiful taco. I love how vibrant all the colors are. And I'm pairing it today with the It's 5 o'clock somewhere, which is a play on the classic margarita. A little bit of squirt in there to brighten it up. And I'm going to dig in. I'm going to put lime on lime on lime. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you. The tortilla tastes so fresh. All the ingredients are so fresh. There's so many layers of flavor. It's just packed in there. Have the perfect amount of spice from that Serrano crema on there. This is not to miss at Bud Dairy Food Hall. This is one of the best tacos I've ever had here in Columbus, seriously. And what goes better with a taco than a margarita? Whew, that has a kick, that's good. Have a few of those, you might be in trouble. <laughs> Well, this is excellent. I'm gonna keep drinking this, but I'm also gonna head over to Poke Bop to try a Poke Bowl. So it's pretty hip and trendy. Um, I like to come with my family or just with a group of girls for some drinks. Um, I really love the food. The food is excellent. The ingredients are super fresh. And I have um, some dietary restrictions and they're super accommodating. There's um, a ton of spaces, um, different places where you can be with different feels, which is really fun. Um, and just a wide variety of food. I'm here with Cease Kim, the owner of Poke Bop. Thanks so much for having us over here today. Anytime. So we're having a Poke Bowl today. Walk me through how you make that. So we start off with uh, white sushi rice. Uh, we use a short grain uh, Japanese rice. Uh, use a locally uh, greenhouse grown salad. We use tuna and salmon, fresh uh, sushi grade, uh, hand cut every day. We, we flash marinate that with our own poke sauce with sweet onions and scallions mixed in. And we also add a bunch of veggies, jalapenos, cucumber, edamame, carrot, crab stick, and then we top it off. We flavor with our own poke sauce that we make from scratch. And then we top it off with some furikake and some toasted garlic and some fresh wasabi microgreens that we, um, we created with a local farm called Seven Acre Farm. And we top it off with a, a pop chip, which is a seasoned rice pot. So there's a lot going into this bowl. I cannot wait to try it. See, this looks so fresh and delicious. I cannot wait to dig into this. But I do want to point out I am pairing it today with the lemon shake-up. Don't let this cup fool you. This is no ordinary lemonade. This is adult lemonade. Whew. Yeah, you can definitely taste the great vodka that they have in there and the nice sweetness and the nice bright citrus that comes with that lemon. That's a great drink. And this looks like a great bowl. Great, great compliment. <laughs> of course. So, I'm gonna eat this a little bit on the chip here, the pop chip. I oh, love it. It gives that added crunch. Exactly. And that fish, you really can taste that fresh fish flavor. And then the rest of this, I mean, all of these wonderful veggies. You got that mango. Let's see. With the rice and all these veggies, it, it keeps it light, but it's super filling. This would be a great lunch or dinner. Well, I love this and I really enjoyed this and I love that it adds just another bit of flavor to you know everything here at the Bud Dairy Food Hall. It's, it's perfect. Thank you for coming by and trying our uh, delicious Poke Bowl. Oh, I'll be back. Well, I have had a dairy good time today. Columbus, if you haven't come out to the Bud Dairy Food Hall yet, you have to try it. There's something for everyone. And I'll see you next time. Don't worry, we'll be back with more to explore. Join us next month on Tasting Columbus.